Hi, I'm Kevin Ng and I'll be presenting our work on the relationship between tactile intensity perception and afferent spike count. When we deliver a sinusoidal vibration on the skin, the perceived magnitude or intensity smoothly increases as a function of amplitude. However, the response of a single sensory afferent has several entrainment plateaus, where the afferent fires 1 to 1 or 2 to 1 for each cycle or vibration over a range of amplitudes. Afferents can also be entrained across frequencies. Where increasing the spatial frequency, for example with smoother textures, would proportionally increase their discharge rate, but that doesn't necessarily lead to a more intense sensation. There are several proposed models for coding intensity perception. One of the more recent models is based on the total spike activity across all afferents, weighted by afferent type. For example, the highly sensitive Pacinian afferents might be weighted less than the slowly adapting afferents. But what has made it difficult to study the relationship between spikes and perception is that the use of sinusoidal stimulation results in a complex population response. For instance, changing the frequency of the vibration changes the activated afferent type as there are different preferred frequencies. To control and investigate the number of spikes generated in the same population of afferents, we develop a new experimental approach based on mechanical pulses so brief that there is only time for one spike per pulse to be evoked. The number of spikes evoked in afferents is controlled by the repetition rate. Unlike sinusoidal stimuli with different frequencies, the pulses are identical and thus activate the same population and also the same type of afferents, regardless of the repetition rate. We deliver these pulses out stimuli using a probe attached to a mechanical shaker. Subjects had to rate the magnitude of pulse trains between 20 and 200 Hz against the standard which was the 100 Hz pulse train. We tested three different stimulation amplitudes which would recruit a different combination of afferent types. Our results showed that perceived intensity increased when the repetition rate of the stimuli and thus spike rate within the same population of afferents increased from 20 and 100 Hz, which then plateaued beyond this point. This effect did not appear to be sensitive to the mix of afferent types that were recruited, as the same trend was observed at different amplitudes. Electrical stimulation, which activates afferents non-selectively, has similar results, but not in all subjects. Thus, we see that the relationship between intensity and the number of spikes is also moderated by the frequency. Below 100 Hz, the number of spikes in the population directly affects intensity, whereas above 100 Hz, this became minimal. This could be why fine textures, which evoke high-frequency vibrations in the skin, do not feel disproportionately intense as the weighted rate model would predict. Furthermore, the use of pulse rate to render intensity perception in the case of neural interfaces has its limitations.